Introducing the Smart Soaker from AgPro, the most advanced and innovative cow soaking system available. Hello, back again with Donald Gribble, and we want to talk about another uh, subject that today, and that's Saudi style cooling. And uh, in Saudi Arabia and the Middle East, it's a common, effective way to do uh, to ventilate and cool your cows. Uh, interestingly enough, uh, they do the same thing in the United States in the state of Arizona, and they call it Arizona style. So Saudi style, Arizona style, it's basically a big evaporative system that uh, is spot cooling your cows, but it is very effective. Donald, tell us about uh, Smart Soaker and how it can uh, integrate into a barn. Good question, Glenn, because uh, we've designed a lot of uh, facilities with the uh, uh, spot cool or Saudi style barns, as you might want to call that. And uh, they have a lot of benefits to them. And actually, they're considered the gold standard for, for cooling cows in the Middle East. However, I think Smart Soaker has a, a great uh, opportunity to bolster or work in conjunction with Saudi style system. Here's a picture. And uh, as you see, uh, the coolers put a cone of uh, air onto those cows right underneath it. And that's a cool spot where the cows like to lie down at. And then uh, the cow, the barns are not airtight. So the air goes outside of the barns. Now, if there's a competing outside wind blowing 45 degrees C air into the building, that cone of cool air moves or is, is reduced by quite a bit because again, uh, the air coming outside is not cool, it's, it's quite hot. And the barn has to be open because the cows have got to be able to get out to the crowds, even with curtains down, as you can see in these pictures here with curtains and the air is able to come in and blow the cool air out. Okay, so, well, how can the smart soaker work and why aren't they using uh, feed line soaking systems all over the Middle East because it'd be quite effective. The answer is that they can't tolerate the water on the floor. Either they can't tolerate the use of the water, but the waste of the water is the big, the big problem because a traditional soaking system puts a lot of water on the floor. Therefore, a smart soaking system solves that problem. So to me, uh, Glenn, every farm in the Middle East, which is using uh, Arizona style or Saudi style cooling right now, should add to that uh, feed line soaking, but not traditional feed line soaking, smart or on demand soaking. So to wrap that up, she's getting cooled with that spot cooling system in her bedded area. And now smart soaking uh, system is cooling her at the feed line. That's where she's spending the most amount of her times in those two spots. She's not having to go to from one uh, cool spot to a hot spot at the feed bunk. Why don't we just soak her there as well? I'll give Sounds you one, like one more ahead. thing. Um, right now, uh, again, you're in the Middle East, it's quite hot. The, the, uh, the Saudi style coolers uh, consume a, a lot of power, a lot of water, and require a lot of maintenance. They are effective, as you said, said, right over the beds, maybe not so effective in the rest of the barn, especially if you have a competing wind. Now you have two cooling systems. My point is, if your Saudi system is down, at least you have a soaking system still occurring. And by the way, the cost of the soaking system is just a fraction what you're spending uh, on a Saudi style system in, in, in initial investment as well as uh, water use and uh, power and, and maintenance because again this is not using a high pressure nozzle this is a, a nozzle that requires very little uh, maintenance it's a, a low pressure nozzle low pressure water so we don't have any high pressure system uh, here and not much power use so quite economical quite a good uh, use of resources and quite effective. And I think uh, you, the folks who, who have the Saudi system are really gonna see a huge benefit in the uh, additive uh, performance. Sounds like a win-win.